Microchip technology provides you a unique and flexible development platform to prototype your designs. What you see here is an Explorer 16 development board um, and you can see it has been powered with a 9 volt power supply. The board features uh, a basic RS-232 interface, an LCD, several switches and a row of LEDs. You can also see a debugging <coughs> interface that uh, allows you to connect to this board via an RJ11 cable, a microchip MPLAB ICD2 in-circuit debugger, or uh, perhaps a MPLAB Realize in-circuit emulator. What makes this uh, board unique is a couple of things. Uh, first, what you see here is a processor, DSPIC digital signal controller that has been mounted. Uh, this has been mounted as a, it, it is actually available as a standalone as a plug-in module that you can purchase separately. Similar plug-in modules are available for PIC24F microcontrollers, PIC24H microcontrollers, and even uh, the, our newest PIC32 microcontrollers. So uh, this one board supports uh, several, actually four different families of microcontrollers and digital signal controllers. So. Uh, why exactly uh, is it able to do that? Well, uh, across our microcontrollers and digital signal controllers, you'll find a lot of compatibility in the pinout um, of these uh, products. So uh, uh, we have plug-in modules like these available for 100-pin devices as well as 28 and 44-pin devices. And this board will support all of them. So uh, the other uh, aspect of this board that is rather unique is uh, the slot connector or the edge connectors that you see here. So these connectors will allow you to basically customize this board for uh, to suit with a variety of application specific features. So uh, you may have uh, potentially some connectivity uh, features in your application. Uh, perhaps you have a, a controller area network based application, so you may need a CAN network controller. So uh, this Pigtail Plus here uh, allows you to connect uh, up to two CAN um, to up to two CAN transceivers, and you can uh, basically insert this Pigtail Plus via this uh, slot uh, connector right here and uh, develop your application. So uh, similarly, we also have Pigtail Pluses for uh, USB applications and uh, you can connect that USB Pigtail Plus right here on the edge um, on this board. Now what if you had multiple features on your development board? Well uh, you can continue to add more features. I have here in front of me a graphics Pigtail Plus board and we can add this graphics Pigtail Plus board to the other edge of the USB Pigtail Plus board. So you have a, uh, a system that is uh, essentially can keep growing. So you can see here how the graphics Pigtail Plus is connected on the edge to the USB Pigtail Plus which is in turn connected to the uh, Explorer 16 development board. Now uh, it does, the fun doesn't stop there. You can connect yet another Pigtail Plus. Here we have an Ethernet Pigtail. Uh, plus, so I'm going to connect this Ethernet Pigtail Plus to the Explore 16 development board via the slot connector right there. So, um, uh, so I can uh, I have connected here one, two, and three Pigtail Pluses to this Explore 16 development board. I'm going to dismantle this right now to show you a quick demo of uh, a different Pigtail Plus that we have here. This is an audio Pigtail Plus. You can see uh, basically a an interface to the speakers. You also have a line out and you also have microphone input. There is actually an uh, an audio codec that is uh, placed here on this board. Uh, if you want to use it, you can optionally use the 16-bit uh, D2A converter on some of our DSPIC devices. Um, or you can use a PWM on any of the microcontroller and digital signal controllers uh, that we offer. So this audio Pigtail Plus can also be connected via the slot and uh, you will hear basically a playback demo that uh, continuously loops on. This is a demo of microchip speech and audio coding solution. So you can hear this that. I have some basic controls on uh, the actual solution. volume this of this. This is a demo of microchip speech and audio coding solution. This is a demo of microchip speech so, uh, and audio So there we go. Now I'm going to disconnect that. 
you can also connect a variety of other pigtails and uh, we have here an SDMMC card pigtail plus so you can insert the SD card in that slot there and connect that to your Explorer 16 board you also have a simplified playback pigtail plus which allows you which actually has a speaker mounted already on the board and also allows you uh, the capability to record um, while the previous demo that you saw featured a speaks algorithm uh, you can uh, use a simpler board like this to perform a uh, ADPCM type compression on any of our microcontrollers as well. Similarly now you have uh, a smaller uh, infrared pigtail plus that you can see here. Again this can be connected into the slot. Um, also we have here a buck converter so um, certainly many of these DSPEG digital signal controllers are useful in power supply designs in digital power conversion and so we have pigtail pluses to support that and uh, finally I'm going to also show you a little system here that we've got connected where uh, you can see a motor at the top of your screen and uh, that's the motor and then you can see a three phase high voltage power module so this is basically an AC induction motor connected to a high voltage power module you can connect that to a motor controlled interface pigtail plus uh, that allows you to perform various sensor and sensor less type of controls uh, control algorithms. Um, we have several advanced tap notes written for these algorithms and that is in turn connected to an Explorer 16 board. The processor that you see over there, the plug-in module, um, is actually, it features a DSPIC digital signal controller from the motor control family of devices. So these have specialized PWM peripherals and so on. So uh, you can see how you have a variety of options uh, to connect a variety of uh, peripherals and hardware to, uh, to your main processor. Um, now, of course, all this hardware is also supplemented by a variety of free software uh, libraries and application notes that we have available on our website at microchip.com. All these boards can be purchased from any of our uh, local distributors uh, in your area or from our sales office as well as microchipdirect.com. And um, if you want to build your own Pigtail Plus, we also have uh, basic prototyping Pigtail Pluses so you can add your own components here and wire wrap some signals and uh, that is good for interfacing to this board as well. So uh, that said, uh, you have uh, a very comprehensive, flexible development platform to prototype your application. Now, uh, in case you're looking for something simpler, you can also use any of these starter kits that are uh, uh, standalone. Um, you have here two of them, MPLAB starter kit for PIC24 MCUs uh, and also for DSPIC digital signal controller. So these feature a DSPIC33F family and this features a PIC24F microcontroller family. Uh, these starter kits um, are basically, they guarantee you an out-of-the-box uh, experience and uh, they're self-contained so you don't have to purchase anything else. So you have these options or you have a uh, basic, uh, uh, you, you have the full pro uh, system prototyping option with your Explorer 16. So uh, in addition to these, uh, you, uh, with the Explorer 16 you might need a, an emulator or a debugger. So there you have it. Uh, basically, you can leverage your tools investment, you know, many times over in subsequent designs, or continue to add features uh, in a variety of your products uh, with a single development board and uh, extensions uh, via the Pigtail Pluses.